All right, y'all, let me show you how I set up a long range gun. I call it my bean field gun here in the south. Oh, uh, like I said, it's, it's I, where you can see, you know, three, four, five hundred yards is, is what I'm ideally setting up here for. Uh, like I said, I, I got bean fields and stuff, cotton fields and stuff like that. Late season, these deer start coming out in it. Uh, I hunt a power line that I can see 600 yards one way. Uh, but here's here's how I set my gun up. I've, I've got two guns here, y'all. Uh, one of them is a seven, seven millimeter Remington Magnum, and the other one's a 6.5 by 300 Weatherby. I got them both tight with Lippo scopes. They're a little bit different. One of them's a a Bear X3 of a four and a half by 14, and the other's a Bear X5. It's a three by 15. Uh, but if they both got the Boone Crockett radicals in them, uh, I hadn't got the turrets on top. It does have the, the lock and dial on the top, but I hadn't shot them enough. Like I said, I basically just got both these rigged up this year. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm, I've always liked Lippo Scope Show. Uh, like I said, I'm just. I'm old fashioned, the American made. I, I like the, basically this Varex 5, it's got stamped on it. It says it's design, machine, and assemble in the USA. You know, <laughs> there are not very many scope companies that can say that. Uh, so that's, that's why I shoot them. And I, like I said, I've always, you know, every Lippo scope I've ever owned, I still got it. Uh, so, but let's, let me show you. Like I said, I got a place here, it's a pasture. You see my calves out here that I've been feeding. And I can, I got, I got three tubs set up here, feed tubs. I've got a circle marked on it with a crosshair on it. I got one three, four, and five hundred yards scattered across right here. You know, I said I got my camera out here. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm playing with it. It's new. I, I basically replaced it with my boat. You know, when I, when I turned my boat over, I lost my mother camera I bought, so I've replaced it back with this. Uh, it's an A7 R5. Oh, you know. I'm learning that things way smarter than I am, but I really want to see if I can track his bullet. Oh, I'm really going to turn the shutter speed up and see if I can, can track his bullet. But y'all, <clears throat> I ain't got a whole lot of ammunition for a 6.5 300, so I'm not going to shoot it very many times. Oh, the 7 millimeter Remington Magnum, I really like this gun, y'all. If the last few years you've seen me shoot it a lot. Oh, the 6.5 300 with me, I've shot it a lot over the years and killed a lot of deer. It had a muzzle break on the end of the barrel that was built in. Oh, I carried it to gunsmith this year and cut that thing off. I mean, it, it was a tack driver, but man, that thing would, it definitely, you know, I could shoot it and three or four nights later, I could, my ears just still just sit there and ring at night. So I'm like, it ain't worth it. I can handle a kick way better than I can that, that sound. So, <clears throat> but like I said, both these guns, I bought them off of gun brokers uh, a couple years ago or several years ago. Uh, both of them was 6.5s when I bought them. This first is Remington 700. It had a 6.5 barrel on it, a custom barrel. Back then, you, you couldn't buy no factory ammo. So I sent it to a guy to, to, to make me a set of dies for it. And he got it. He's like, man, that old barrel shot out. It ain't no count. So he said, I got a, a Remington 700 factory barrel that I took off of a guy's gun. He said, let me cut it off and crown it for you and, and, and put it on there. So he did. Like I said, it's a left-handed gun, but it's a right-handed barrel on it because writing's upside down on it. But, man, this thing's a good shooter. So... <clears throat> And like I said, I got this, that muzzle brake cut off of this other one. And this is, I hadn't really shot it a whole lot. I've got it sighted in pretty good, but I hadn't shot it like I had before. Because like I said, uh, uh, let, let me get them set up here and let's just take a few shots here. All right, I'm going to shoot my 400 yard first. Like I said, I got a good prop. I didn't bring my earmuffs. You know, I recommend that, but you know, I've shot so many times. I'm about death anyway, but uh, but main thing, get you a good rest. I like laying across this four wheeler like this because I, I got a good rest. I want it where I can just put it. Like I said, I'm going to put my the second line right center of that, that barrel and see what it does. <clears throat> it's pretty close. Oh. So let me get my 6.5 out now. I want to shoot it at 300 yards. Because basically, how I got these set up, my 7 mag is, my crosshair, is, my main crosshair is 200 yards. My first line is 300 yards. The second line is 400 yards. And then the dot is about 450 and then the post is 500. The 6.5 is a lot flatter shooting gun, so I set it up different. I set it up, my crosshair is at 300. So that's, that's going to put me about 2.5 inches high at 200, 
but that two and a half, three inches is not very, you know, I, I'm fixing this gun up mainly for shooting long range. I'm not going to hunt with it in the woods and stuff like that, shooting at 100 yards. So let's shoot at 300, see if we got it dialed in. Crank my scope all the way up. Like I said, see where it's shooting at. I'm going to put the crosshair dead on it. Too. It, it, it hit the jug, I know. <laughs> so let's ride down there and check, see where them two hit, and then we'll shoot four and five hundred yards. All right, y'all. I'm a little bit low in the right, three hundred yards. So, so that's my three hundred. So that means I need to raise it up a little bit. It needs to come up a little bit and to the left. Not much. All right, let's go see what we're seven millimeter done. Man, look at here. This thing shot to the right. I don't know, about six inches. At 400. Oh, seven by seven millimeter. That's 400 yards. Oh, let me let me show you a, a shot. I, I shot a doe yesterday at 400, low 400 yards. And let me show you where it hit. All right, John, we'll try him on the left there. I got her. I knew this old gun would do what I thought it would do. Oh, here she is. Oh. I just barely hit her. It shot to the right just a little bit. But y'all, it's a long ways. Oh, you hit her right in the back and come out the top. You see on that that shot there, I hit just a little bit to the right. Like I said, I was trying to hit that hit that doe right dead center in the chest and shoot that behind it too, because Mississippi can kill five five does. You know. I know some of y'all may think that's not ethical, but I, I sure thought I could put both of them down in their tracks and I did put the first one down but I hit about that six eight inches to the right and it just showed then I was shooting to the right so I'm gonna move my side over a little bit and I'm gonna shoot my 500 yard one so let's do that all right y'all it's about eight inches to the right at 400 so I'm gonna move it about four clicks that'd be one inch at 100 so four four times that'd be four inches so I'm gonna move it I'm gonna move it two inches because two inches be eight inches at 400 to so double it so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now let's try it at 500 yards. Put my 500 yard on it. My elevation was perfect. Let's try that. Shoot my 6.5. Ah, let's go see what I'm All right, I'm pretty close. I need to come up just a little bit more. Just a dab more and to the right. That's 400 yards and I had my first line on it. That would have been a deer. You to eat him up. So let's go see what the seven mag die. Five hundred yards, y'all. I'm still just a little bit to the right, but boy, that elevation's there. Oh, I may click it over just a little bit. I may shoot it again, and make sure. Oh, I ain't got many more of them bullets left. I got some hand loads. Them, what I've been shooting, some Remington core locks, y'all. They shoot good out of that gun. Oh, <clears throat> I've got some barns loaded. I may shoot it one more time. That ain't bad at all. That's 500 yards, y'all. I was aiming right here, hit right there. Maybe eight inches at 500 yards. Get him broadside it. Put it behind the shoulder. That's a dead deer. All right, like I said, I'm, I may move them just a little bit. I got a, a little bit of a wind. 
from left to right so that may be making that bullet drift just a dab or uh, on my 7 mag i'm gonna move my 6.5 up just a little bit but let me show you a hunt right here on that 6.5 before i cut the, the break off of it i wanted to shot out in the field several a couple years ago Like I said, I've, you know, back then, I shot that gun a bunch. I knew exactly what it would, it would do. Because uh, <clears throat> scope I had on it then, it had the, the, the base of the lines in it like these lip bolts got in it. Uh, <clears throat> but I put a smack on that dope. I figured, you know, I didn't even have a range fighter back yet. I just guessed she was between 450 and 5 and smoked her. So, you know, well, I guess one thing I can say, if you like shooting, if you got a place you can hunt that you can see 300 plus yards, it takes a little bit of different setup of a gun to be consistent. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say you, you can't kill him with just a regular set of reticles on a scope. You need to shoot your gun and know what it's doing. Oh, God, I, I used to shoot a long time ago this, them, uh, the duplex, and I knew 400 yards was my post. <clears throat> and like I said, I killed a couple of deer. I killed one on the power line with a 25 all 6 one time, about 450 yards. Put that post on it, pull the trigger, and that's how hit the ground. Hit right through the shoulder. So, like I said... Hope this helps you. Uh, like I said, you, you, you need to really shoot. I know a lot of you probably don't have a place to shoot like I do. Uh, you know, go to a gun range or something like that because you need to shoot long distances. You know, if you want to shoot at a deer that far, really shoot your gun. Know what it's doing, y'all. Uh, and, and get you a scope set up for long range. You know, like I said, I like these boom crock reticles, y'all, because you, you can quick. You know, because when a deer walks out, a lot of time he may be chasing a doe. Or, or like these does, they're coming out in these fields. I got plenty of time on them. <clears throat> but now I've shot bucks, four and five hundred yards for. I really like them boom crocker reticle like that, where I can just get on them quick, hold where I, I think my yardage is right, pull the trigger. And man, I've connected a lot of times on deer four hundred yards. So, <clears throat> hope to see you next time.